themselves out of the market, okay? Jeep priced themselves out of the market. Jeep was first to do it. Toyota came in and did it next. Ford is doing it right now. Nissan is following suit, okay? All right, hey guys, we're back. And uh, we're at another Toyota dealership. This one is actually about an hour from my house and it's a much bigger dealership, but we have the same story. Different dealer, same story. We're gonna talk about it a little bit, but here we are, Toyota dealer. And uh, it's Chatham Parkway. And you can see we got rows of Tundras, or I mean Tacomas, rows of Tacomas. We got a whole another setup of rows of Tacomas here. That are running all the way down through here just more rows and rows of tacomas you're good and uh but we got tacomas everywhere that we're looking here and we got to take that into consideration when you're looking at these and thinking about them the deals are there now i made a video that i got ridiculed quite a bit by a lot of idiots in that one saying oh you're a sales guy oh he's just trying to sell something no i'm trying to prove to you that if you are looking for a 2024 or you're looking for a new generation tacoma you want to get that truck the beauty of getting it is the fact that when you do you want it to be a 2024 the reason for getting it at 2024 is because there will never be another time where inventory will be like this. We'll never have it again. We had all those rows, plus we got work trucks there, plus we got Tacomas here, Tacomas there. They're scattered everywhere around here. There's so many Tacomas. And the point of that is that the value is available for you because of the sheer numbers of them on a lot. That video is filled with a lot of, they're junk, they're garbage, turbo, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. Don't let any of that stuff to sway or sway you from what it is that you're looking for. Okay, if you like this truck, buy it. People are, you know, it's, it, it, it blows my mind the negativity that you see in comments on here. Remember, Toyota used to have a fanboy base that was off the charts. Well, that fanboy base has left Toyota because of this truck. This is no longer what a lot of their loyalists from Toyota want anymore. Fine, nothing wrong with that. I understand it. I get it. This is not what I want from Toyota either. However, doesn't mean that it's not what you want. And if this is a truck that you like, get it. Does this truck have more power than the old one, the old version? Yes. Does it have better seating position? Yes. Does it have more comfort? Yes. Does it have more tech in it? Yes. Does it do more things? Yes. Is it cooler? Yes. Does it have all this stuff? Yes. Is it as reliable? No, it's not going to be. Is it going to be as long lasting? No, it's not going to be. Does it cost more? Yes, it does. But it's the stuff that matters to you. If this has what you're looking for, this is the truck to get. Don't let those people fool you. And those uh, those Toyota fanboys that left this, where'd they go? They all went to Nissan, okay? Heaven forbid, I can say anything. If I, if I praise Nissan in a video in any way, oh my God, I make the best videos in the world and I'm such a great guy and oh, we agree with you so much. If I knock Nissan in any way, all of a sudden I'm the worst guy out there. I'm a junk, uh, you know, I, I'm junk at what I do. I'm not a journalist. I don't cover this stuff right. I don't know what I'm talking about, blah, blah. It goes on and on. So be careful in the comments, but we understand that this truck is here. And it is the same thing at this dealer as it was at my dealer. Tons and tons of these things available, which means that the deals are going to be available. Now, when I said now's the time to buy, I mean 2024. They will not get better. What that means is in 2025, Toyota will not let this inventory build up like it has now. They will never let this happen again. They see the how they erred in this and the problems that it has caused and how this overflow of stock is. So Toyota will never let this happen again, nor will Ford, nor will, will Jeep, nor will Ram, nor will any of them. That's why you see all these videos that I keep putting up about how you know, 20, for skip to 2025s. Why skip to 25s? There's so many 24s everywhere on everything. Take advantage of that. Okay, use that to your advantage. Look at we got right here too. Forerunner. Forerunner. KTRD off-road too. Nice. Okay, there's a lot of vehicles available, but just look at us these Tacomas. Just look at this. I mean, we got double rows deep plus they're scattered everywhere. Look at this. Brrr, all the way down. Okay, all these Tacomas sitting there begging for somebody to take them, begging for somebody to buy them. They will, as long as this inventory is here, the deals will be available. When the 2025s come out, they will come out in much lower numbers, released much later and much lower because Toyota wants these gone. Until these are gone, the deals are there. 
And there's a fine line because once these start rocking through pretty good in the next couple months and they start really rebating them and start making things happen, what's going to then happen is they're going to get rid of so many that there's going to be, when this lot gets down to having only five or eight of them on here anymore, those deals are over. Because the 2025s aren't showing up, the Toyota's not making them and allocating them quick enough till these are gone. It, it's going to be this this window. You have that window right now, and it is an absolutely beautiful place to be in this window. So take advantage of that kind of stuff. But it is basically the same game, same kind of thing, every kind of way, everywhere you turn with the Toyotas, with the Tacomas. Okay, every lot looks exactly like this. Reason for it? Prices. They priced themselves out of the market, okay? Jeep priced themselves out of the market. Jeep was first to do it. Toyota came in and did it next. Ford is doing it right now. Nissan is following suit, okay? Nissan is scaring me quite a bit, actually. Remember, they took that Pro 4X, the amazing truck, which is also where all of the Tacoma fanboys went. Okay. All the Tacoma fanboys jumped up and down and said, hey, you know what? Forget Toyota with all this stuff. We're going to Nissan. So the Toyota, they turn around and they go to Nissan. And then all of a sudden, Nissan starts getting this little perk in sales from that. Nissan feels like, hey, we were really doing good. We got a great vehicle here. Everything's going fantastic. Uh, we're going to refresh it in 2025, which they did. Mild refresh, couple little option changes, nothing major, but they jumped the price up almost $3,500. Okay. That's going to hurt them. That is going to hurt them this year. But the 2024s are still on a lot. Time to buy. But that's where we're standing at with these. Toyota will learn from this mistake. They will not let it happen again. The mistake being the inventory issue. The truck, like I said, it's not going to change. This isn't going to get any different. <clears throat> if you think somehow magically Toyota is going to put a V6 back in this, you bumped your head. If you somehow think that they're going to automatically make thicker parts, better plastics, better materials, better things to do for this, they're going to update, fix this, change any tooling. No, they're not going to. This is how it's going to be. They're going to ride it. They'll make some fine little slight adjustments through this model year, but it's not going to change. This is, this is the Tacoma we get for the next seven or eight years. This is exactly what it is. Just like the Tundra. Okay, Tundra sitting right here. Okay, it's going into 2025. That's its third year year since this thing's been out nothing has changed except for little bitty tweaks here and there which is how toyota does it but this is around for another five years this isn't going anywhere nothing major is going to happen here it's just going to be what it is this is no different so you know if this is what you're looking for and this is what you want to buy is this truck if this truck sings to you and says get i want one of these then buy a 2024 before the 2024s are gone. That's where your value is. And now people are like, oh, the discount, you're not gonna get five grand off. If I can't get five, if I can't get seven grand off of one of these, if I want a TRD off-road, which is the only model I would buy in a Tundra and a Tacoma and whatever, in a Forerunner, if I can't get a TRD off-road for seven grand off right now, then I wouldn't buy one, but I could get seven grand off. How would you do that? I'd negotiate and I'd work it and I'd find it and I'd put the time and effort in and I would do what I got to do to get it, but it's there for you. But it is the same on every dealer lot. This is another dealer, same exact story, tons of them available right here for you. Deals will be available. The options are there. Take full advantage of them, use them and, uh, Get the vehicle you want. And for the love of God, don't pay attention to the crap you hear in the comments on this video. Like I said, these people get out of hand with this whole junk, 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 garbage, garbage, garbage. Doesn't matter what they think of it. Matters what you think of it. Toyota builds good stuff. There's no doubt about it. Is it as good as the old generation? No. Do I like Toyota? No, I don't like Toyota at all. I don't like who they are as a company. What I, my opinion and everybody in the comments opinions means nothing. The only opinion that matters is yours. It's not a bad truck. And if you like it, it's got a lot of benefits to it. And if it's what you want, buy it but if you're gonna buy it buy it as a 2024 over the next few months or even whenever but watch the inventory level on them watch the rebates watch how long the vehicles have been on the lots and learn to negotiate so you get the best deal out of it thanks for watching